Wow. Wow. Amazing. Well, it's my absolute pleasure to be here with you today to explore together why sound, I believe, is one of the most powerful tools that we can use for transformation. And why sound is being used for thousands of years in many, many traditions across the globe to provide transformation. But I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need your help because I believe that it is impossible to evolve alone. We evolve together. That's how we do it. Alone, what happens alone is we get isolated. When we get isolated, there is no relationship. And what we're gonna discover is like our human body and our brain is made for relationship. It's a whole vibrational system that codifies information through vibration and is all about relationship and is all about rhythm patterns and is all about frequencies that how we can interact. So today my goal is to introduce you two basic principles of sound, why sound works. One is entrainment and the other one is resonant, resonance. So are you ready for this? <laughs> yeah? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna explore entrainment. So I'm gonna need your help. So you guys want you to do this. Tum te tak te tak 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 dum. Tum te tak te tak 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 dum. Dum te tak te tak 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 dum. Dum te tak te tak 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 dum. Tak 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 dum. Tak 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 dum. Tak 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 dum. Tick it, 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 Tum te tak te tek tum. Tum te tak te tek tum. Tum te tak te tek tum. Wow, what happened? Did we ever rehearse this? Did we ever met? <laughs> so how is possible that we've been so perfect? There was no mistakes, right? None. What happened that we were able to synchronize our rhythms and you were able to learn as fast as a millisecond? What happened is we just put in practice the most important neurobiological biological and neurophysiological principle that we have, which is called entrainment. And entrainment is the ability of the brain to get in sync to any external rhythm. We can't, we don't think about it. What happened, I just start doing this? Without thinking, you just follow it, right? I start saying anything rhythmically with my voice, you really catch it so fast. That's the amazing power of our brain, and it's called entrainment. This is everything that we basically we need to know about why sound works. Because the definition of sound when we measure sound in science, we call the way to measure sound is called frequency. And we measure frequency with hertz. And you know what is the definition of a hertz? Anybody knows? Hertz is cycles per second, which means bits per second. So our brain, if we have one tone, that is one, 128 hertz, for example, that means that in one second, we have 128 bits. We all know the power of drumming, right? We will have power of how we engage with that. Imagine that in one second, we have 128 bits. And our brain, my friends, are aligned directly in a millisecond with that 128 bits. So the amazing thing about sound is like we can escape. We can escape because our brain is going to synchronize with, that, with those patterns as we did right now. We don't think about it, which is the best thing. 
because with sound we don't think. We completely, we completely go and trigger our neurobiology. The key point is which are the patterns that we want to entrain with? Because there are patterns, different rhythmic patterns that creates different, ne different neural pa pathways and that is gonna be the shapes where we're gonna live in. Second principle is called resonance. Anybody knows what is resonance? Okay, you want to explore resonance? You want to explore resonance? Yeah. Okay. I think we're going to have now the most powerful resonance experience you ever had <laughs> together. Everybody knows what is this? Conscious. To make this, this very, very short this story, no, I will tell later tonight in the concert. So put your hands like this. And now I want you guys to close your eyes, okay? Now I want you to put your hands in your chest. Keep your eyes closed. And just repeat and hum with me this sound. Just do this. Mm. Breathe in. Can open your eyes. How you feel? Good. Feels good, right? <laughs> Can you feel the shift in the environment like so fast, energetically? So fast. And were you were you able to feel the shell? Or was how you felt it? Strong? And what was the difference when you were humming onto your body? Huh? Felt the, same. Felt the same. Amazing. Because basically it's the same. This is the second principle of sound, resonance, and is the ability of our body to receive vibration. And when we engage the body with vibration, again, there is no escape because there is no, it's impossible to fake vibration. We receive that information. And this is one, an elemental instrument that codifies vibration from nature. But when we hum, my friends, that's the most powerful sound that you can give to yourself. Your voice, humming, creates what is called bone conduction sound. And that engages our vagus nerve, which activates the parasympathetic nervous system. And as we know, the parasympathetic nervous system brings us back to rest and digest. It's exactly the opposite of being in fight and flight mode. So when we receive these elemental sounds, either coming from nature or coming from your voice, we are giving to the body the most important message of safety, which is the, th the only thing that we need to perform our best and to be who we are, feeling safe. That's why the sound, externally, as I send in you sound, or internally, you singing and humming, are the most powerful medicines to bring you back into balance. Emotionally, 
physically and in also in your electromagnetic field. So there is no mystery, my friends. If we use rhythm to engage the brain, right? And if we use sound to engage the body, we create alignment between mind and body and we create whole. We become whole. That's why sound is so profound. And with this al alignment, there is no other thing that homeostasis in the body, balance and evolution. And these are things that traditions, now neuroscience, are proving all these things, right? And it's amazing to have all this information and knowing that low frequency sounds engages the parasympathetic nervous system. Right away, we get into parasympathetic with humming. Because you know what? When we were inside the womb, you know what is the first organ that is developed in utero? Eh? And after the heart? The ear. This is crucial, my friends, because all that I'm telling you right now and how we always respond to sound so fast is because during nine months of gestation, after the heart, everything that comes is after the cochlea with the inner ear. You know what is the shape of the inner ear? Exactly it is. So basically our tissues, our skin, my friends, are made of ear. That's why I, t I tell you, put your hands like this, close your eyes and receive sound, because we codify sound not just with our ear, our whole body is a big ear. And it's, this is very important because all the information when we were inside the womb, all the information that comes from the environment is vibration. We have our eyes closed, nine months. And everything that is happening in the womb is just vibration. We are, we are just codifying vibration. And the most important thing we need to be very aware of is the voice of the mother is the one that is all the time basically feeding the brain with the tone. That's why I now talk a lot about we really need to take uh, pay attention about the emotions of the mother because it's not about saying, I love you. Is the tone of what you're saying because if you are in fear and you are in pain, you are feeding that brain with pain and fear. And when you come out of the womb, what we call the, um, sometimes the split in personalities, it happens inside the womb because you, your identity as your soul, has to split because you are eating the emotions of the mother through the voice and through the tones. The key point and the good news is we can reprogram that brain with your own voice through your life. Choosing what are the tones, what are the messages you want to bring to yourself, and then with your voice, engaging your brain as we see today, that is the key to engage the brain and the body. So, it's fascinating, right? And for me, I'm gonna tell you my little story, how I get into this from being a, a, a kid from six years old, singing opera, singing in front of the kings of Spain, singing in front of the, in the royal palace. But there was something missing, and this is the other aspect that we need to talk about today about sound, is that music is not for entertainment. From six years old to 13, I was performing high, high end as a soloist. And I knew there was something missing, and I quit. And then I start traveling around the world, and in Paris, I start, I start hearing this sound. And then again, like we speak, my body felt that, not my brain. And my, fatty, my body felt like, like I need to go there. I was following the sound. And then I, got, I, f I found this gathering ar around the river of all these people playing drums from all around the world, smiling, my friends smiling and together and something in me say I want it's not that I want to play the djembe it's I want to be part of that and smile and connect because that's the third aspect of music that make us connect and that's impressive that's the most important thing then I go back to Spain I start playing percussion I was not good at all I just persist over 25 years and then I start developing music for dance companies and being in Senegal, dancing and playing drums changed my life. Because I realized that drummers and musicians were going to their villages 
celebrating life, and the tool to celebrate life was drumming and dancing. And that's what the way that people were gathering together, and in one night they were recognizing their roots, celebrating their roots, the newborn and the elders, they were all together celebrating by dancing and playing. And then they were singing, and the singing was the prayer. So then I realized, what are we doing in theaters? What are we doing performing? It's not about that. Music is not for entertainment. Music is a tool for transformation. We bring, it brings us together to celebrate life and to go through the challenges of daily life. That's why music is important. And now, guess what? Neuroscience has discovered that when we sing together, as we started this morning, you know what happened in the brain when we sing together? Serotonin and oxytocin is released. Serotonin and oxy oxytocin, my friends, are the bonding hormone. So if you want to create community, as now is one of the most important models for health, you can have the best diet, you can have the best exercise, you can meditate every day, but if you don't have community, you are not in health. And guess what? Now science and neuroscience prove that when we sing together, serotonin and, and oxytocin is released so we can bond. So music and sound is the tool for us to be together. It has been and will always be. And there's no other way to, to do it like today, gathering to learn together and training together in one rhythm, which is the rhythm of the heart. Because the other thing that science discovered that when we sing together, you know what happened? Like at the moment this morning, in that moment, all of our hearts get synchronized. Isn't this crazy? Did you feel it before? How we were all like, boom. And also when we were humming, we were all synchronized. The whole electromagnetic field changes so fast, faster than any medication that you can get. Bring it back into balance, bring it back into harmony. We just need to remember that we are sonic beings, that we can pulse as one heart. And if we remember to pulse together and celebrate together and sing together and using our voices together, there's no other way to at that achieving harmony. And we can go all through any challenges of daily life because we have a heart that pulsates and we have a voice that will always, always sing. Thank you so much. <laughs>